guys in this video i will talk about how uh, you can verify uh, let's say the drop down is collapsed or it's not collapsed okay it's a kind of drop down it's not exactly a drop down so let's say when you go to the site okay and when you go to this uh, link i mean you when you navigate to the site you have something called what's new uh, banking all about so what happens here is when you just hover on this okay when you uh, hover on this so the class name has a clear fix open okay this class name has clear fix open but when you click on you know expand the clear fix open active the active word will get appended okay the class name clear fix open active so we need to make sure that when we uh, click on that you know expand it's actually getting expanded so you can verify that verify like this okay like this you know this active word is getting appended and again when you minimize this uh, you can see that you know the active word went off so what we can do is we can come to the site uh, we can click on this and then uh, we can get the class name and we can check the class name whether it has active so to get this object you right click copy copy xpath and paste it here this is the xpath now after that it becomes very simple you just uh, we have a class instance of driver we have a test method we are uh, setting the driver instance okay i mean we are setting the driver locations for window and for mac you can see that window exe mac normal then we are going to the site we have implicit wait of 30 seconds to make sure that the page is loaded and then we uh, click on that particular you know uh, what's net banking all about when we click on that then what we do uh, driver dot find element on that same object as i shown you on this object we need to get the class name and class is attribute in the html so uh, we are writing driver dot find element by dot x path get attribute so when we get the attribute uh, it will give us the attribute value from the html uh, uh, as a string and we are just printing that to understand that so once we have the class name dot contents clear fix open so why i have given clear fix op open because clear fix open if it is open if if i collapse uh, it becomes clear fix open active right so you can sorry uh, when i uh, click on this it is a uh, clear fix open right so when it is collapsed when i open that clear fix open active so this will get added here clear fix open so remove the st uh, s3 now you can copy okay when the object is highlighted you cannot copy now you can copy i just remove that object clear fix open active so what we can do it here is uh, we can go for clear fix open active get the class name it will be clear fix open active and then verify that so if that contains true or else false let me run that and see what happens so it will launch the browser now it will go to the site It will click on that particular you know net banking section yeah it clicked on that and when it clicked on you can see that it is you know uh, expanded now and remaining collapsed right so your test is also passed and you can see that the class name clear fix open active and we have assertion on that so you know that that's how you should have the understanding of how if something will ask you somebody will ask you to verify something these are the way you can do that okay that is the reason i'm making this kind of video so that you will have clear understanding of through attribute you can do a lot of things so when you perform any actions what happens is there is a change in the attribute and you can get the changed value and you can put the assertions on that right that's how you guys can try out thank you guys thank you for watching this